Hi there, I'm Eleanor and this is a video made by Bits and Bikes. It should give you all the information you need about this battery. This battery is a 6N5.5-1D, Bits for Bikes part number 706055. It's a lead acid battery with the positive terminals to the front right of the battery and the negative terminals to the rear left. There's two bullet connectors on the positive, one with a fuse holder and a ring terminal on the negative terminals. The height of this battery is 100 millimeters. The width is reading 90 millimeters with the depth at 70 millimeters. Now I'm going to show you how to fill a lead acid battery. I'm using this battery for demonstration purposes but the principles for filling up acid are the same for all lead acid batteries. The first thing we need to do when we're working with acid is to put some protective gloves on because acid can be a little bit nasty and if you want to put on a rough top on in case it spills over that's always a good idea as well. Now the battery will come with an operation manual so it's advisable that you read through that and follow any precautions that are mentioned in there. Next thing we need to do is take this breather off. Now your battery might not have one but if it does it will be either on the side or on the top and it will just be a little red cap. You simply need to pull off and remove and that's fine. Next we need to take these caps off on the top. Now yours may have six caps but that's fine. It just means that yours is a 12 volt battery. This one is a six so it's only got three. And we find that the best way to remove them, if you just get a pair of pliers, pop them over the top and simply pull them off, they'll come off really, whoops, I say easy, really easily. Now, now I'm not actually going to fill this batch with acid because I just want to show you how to do it. Simply get the bottle of acid and you just have to snip off the top with a pair of scissors or a Stanley knife. Then you'll find in your box you've got a plastic pipe that is called a breather pipe. And all you have to do is just push that over the top of the bottle and push it down as far as it can go. Next step is to insert the breather pipe into the cells and start to fill with the acid. Just tip it up and give it a bit of a squeeze and it should come through. Now you'll notice on your battery and the front of it, it'll say an upper and lower level. The ideal place for your acid is on the upper level. So once you've reached the top, simply take it out and continue to fill the remaining cells. And so, once you've done this, you need to just place the little yellow caps that you removed before just on top. Don't push them in, just rest them on top. All that happens is sometimes the acid can fizz up a little bit and this will just stop any damage to your surfaces if the acid does overflow. Once you've done this, you need to leave the battery to settle for about five minutes and when you come back, you might find that the acid levels have dropped, but that's fine. All you need to do is just top it up again as before with your acid. Once this is done, you can put it on a motorcycle trickle charge to top the charge up. Once you're set with that, all you have to do is just come along and replace the caps fully, push them in as they were before. And that's it done ready to be fitted onto your motorcycle thanks for watching this video and we hope you found it useful don't forget if you need any more information you can call the sales team on 01706 344 899